हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू द अनदर सेशन ऑफ टीएफआर करंट अफेयर्स टॉप 50 रैपिड करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द मंथ ऑफ मे लेट्स बिगिन हाउ आर लेक्चर्स आर गोइंग टू प्रोसीड यू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू फिफ्थ इलेवन टू फिफ्टींथ एंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी वन वन मंथ कवरेज विल बी देयर एंड दोज फाइव डेज हाउ दे आर डिवाइडेड फर्स्ट डे वी विल गेट करेंट अफेयर्स मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट करेंट अफेयर्स from economic development then polity and governance and international relations next day then from the environment science and tech reports and indices defense art and culture and miscellaneous different topics will be included into it emerging technologies will be there and government schemes will be there these topics have been segregated in order to give you the maximum benefit for the prelims examination as you can see science and technology environment they have huge weightage in the current affairs so today we are going to look into the important topics from the environment section students before that before we start the environment section i want you to understand how do we classify the current affairs okay so current affairs for environment you should be classifying it first species important species flagship species are there and species in the news some new species are being found and relate it with the biodiversity in your static portion Bio biodiversity and ecology second thing that you need to classify is about most important topic international agreements international agreements such as unfccc unccd cbd certain changes are happening along with that how you should be understanding the changes relate it with the programs by the indian government programs in india you must be relating that third thing is about agriculture climate smart agriculture and pollution environmental pollution what steps have been taken internationally as well as by the government of india this is how you should be classifying the current affairs environment third thing is about protected areas such as tiger reserves questions are coming national parks wildlife sanctuaries okay and into these protected areas certain amendments are being done certain legislations have been there on the place programs by the government of india certain legislations for example amendments into wildlife protection act has been there so you will be understanding them accordingly and then certain miscellaneous miscellaneous topics okay whatever else like places in the news important places in the news important terms in related to the environment okay certain chemicals that upsc is being asking these days and phenomena like arctic amplification this is something that you are not going to study in any of the static portions but why arctic phenomena is more prominent it can be changed as arctic amplification can also be termed as polar amplification but it is more prominent in arctics therefore we call it arctic amplification hope you got this so now let's start first topic is kiru hydroelectric power project kiru hydro hydroelectric power project first of all students where it is located okay it is located near kishtwar district kishtwar district you will remember chenab okay it is on the river chenab at least remember this not on the jhelum match the column okay could be there it is in the news because recently what has happened that for the construction of the dam the project has been allocated civil projects but there was huge corruption of more than 2000 crores in the allocation of civil department projects therefore cbi was investigating even to the delhi and rajasthan certain locations more than 12 locations have been searched for this construction and allocation of these project therefore upsc may ask this question that on the banks of which river is this kiru hydroelectric project is being constructed the capacity will be 624 megawatt it is run of the river project you can see here the diagram what we are planning here okay this is chenab river kiru kishtwar district one more important point from here you need to understand is kishtwar high altitude national park is there where recently the department of 
वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन हैज सेट दैट स्नो लेपर्ड हाई एल्टीट्यूड नेशनल पार्क वेयर स्नो लेपर्ड हैज बीन स्पॉटेड स्नो लेपर्ड हैज बीन स्पॉटेड इट विल हैव दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज गोइंग टू हैव मोर देन टेन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स ऑफ कैचमेंट एरिया एंड विच आर द बेनिफिशरी स्टेट्स जी एंड के ऑफ कोर्स हिमाचल प्रदेश पंजाब हरियाणा इवन उत्तर प्रदेश विल बी अ बेनिफिशियरी स्टेट ऑफ इट उत्तराखंड उत्तरांचल राजस्थान एंड यूनियन टेरिटरीज ऑफ चंडीगढ़ एंड डेली विल बी बेनिफिशियरी जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड डू नॉट इलिमिनेट दैम इफ द क्वेश्चन कम्स विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर गोइंग फॉर दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट अंडरस्टैंड टू परसेंट फॉर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज अबाउट फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट एंड टू परसेंट टू परसेंट इज फॉर पी टी सी पावर ट्रेडिंग कॉरपोरेशन फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट फॉर जेके एस पी डी सी एंड फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट फॉर एन एच पी सी नेशनल हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर कॉरपोरेशन गॉट इट लेट्स मूव टू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक मुकुंद्रा हिल्स टाइगर रिजर्व मुकुंद्रा हिल्स टाइगर रिजर्व टाइगर रिजर्व आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूपीएससी जस्ट बाय द लोकेशन इट सेल्फ इट्स आस्किंग लाइक पक्के टाइगर रिजर्व दे हैव आस्ड इन द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन इन ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन प्रिलिम्स आई थिंक ओके जस्ट लुक एट द पिक्चर ऑफ राजस्थान फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हियर यू विल फाइंड दैट दीज येलो पैचेज रिप्रेजेंट फॉरेस्ट एरियाज हियर यू विल फाइंड दैट रणथम्बोर टाइगर रिजर्व इज देयर ओके केला देवी सेंचुरी इज देयर दीज आर द फॉरेस्टेड एरियाज हियर फ्रॉम हियर दिस चंबल रिवर इज राइजिंग so on the eastern side of chambal river these mukundra hills tiger reserve is there on the eastern bank location they they also ask nubra valley question they have already asked which side it is so here you will find darra darra wildlife sanctuary it is at the cross section of darra wildlife sanctuary chambal wildlife sanctuary and jaswant sagar wildlife sanctuaries three wildlife sanctuaries are there from these forested areas and you can see here this is mukundra this place is mukundra tiger hills it is basically at the valley if i draw the diagram it is something like these two hills are there and at the valley you will find mukundra tiger reserve one hill is mukundra hills another hill is gargola hills mukundra hills and gargola hills two parallel mountain ranges are there and along the valley you will find this mukundra tiger hills reserve okay eastern bank of champal river drained by its tributaries let's look at the vegetation students you need to understand that sometimes upsc is correlating the vegetation and the species over there important protected areas national park whether it be national park whether it be tiger reserves so vegetation and species location you have to be able to correlate along with it which rivers are flowing through the national park through the tiger reserves you should keep a tab on that okay we will find the vegetation to be dry deciduous forest of course because it is in rajasthan you can very well relate to it dry deciduous forest khair bear kakan at least you can understand khair and bear would be found there kakan ronj these are the trees found over there and pendula or kala kala dhok और कल कलाधी ये प्रीडोमिनेंट स्पीसीज है वहां पे बहुत ज्यादा पाए जाते हैं बेर खैर दिस दिस इज द वेजिटेशन एंड दिस इज द टाइगर रिजर्व ओवर देयर तो लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक प्रोजेक्ट चीता प्रोजेक्ट चीता चीता रीइंट्रोडक्शन प्रोग्राम यू नो कूनो नेशनल पार्क कूनो नेशनल पार्क फ्रॉम हेयर वी हैव बीन ब्रिंगिंग चीताज फ्रॉम नेमीबिया फ्रॉम एफ्रीकन ओके from african nations kuno national park already asked by upsc now students understand we have launched project cheetah on the lines of project tiger basically as a sub scheme under as a centrally sponsored scheme under the project tiger the statement may come in the examination that project cheetah it's not a separate project altogether but under project tiger itself centrally sponsored scheme which is the Nodal agency that is monitoring this project, Chita NTCA, National Tiger Conservation Authority, NTCA. Now it has been authorized by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change to provide funds. Understand to provide funds, hand holding for different kinds of experts, advices. Okay, for evolution of Project Chita, for the development of Project Chita. Along with that, the aim of the Project Chita is is to introduce at least. 50 cheetahs at least 50 cheetahs in the next 5 years to the different national parks 
to the different tiger reserves may be possible okay to different national parks basically they will be bringing 50 cheetahs we'll look into the condition that whether it is possible to bring them uh, uh, with another big cat or not okay this is debatable and lot of environmentalists are debating even for the reintroduction of cheetah in india lot of concerns are there but we need to understand what questions can be asked okay so wildlife institute of india it is basically helpful in providing the technical and knowledge support to the program technical and knowledge support to the program the question that can be asked is you all already know that more than 17 year, years have been there and it has been extinct in india it has been extinct in india because of big games okay now cheetahs globally if i talk globally has lost more than 90 percent of its habitat 90 percent of its habitat sometimes students here think that all the cheetahs are endangered or critically endangered but it is not so students understand african cheetah that we are bringing as per the iucn red list it is vulnerable it is vulnerable iucn red list it is uh, available whereas asiatic cheetah if we talk it is critically endangered mostly they are found only in the iran that to less than 100 even less than 50 they are in the numbers so less than 100 found only in iran concentrated only in iran we are not bringing asian cheetah asiatic cheetah we are bringing african cheetah whose iocn status is vulnerable remember that okay physical features bigger in size african cheetahs are bigger in size whereas asiatic cheetahs are smaller in size thode chote hote so difference can be asked by the upsc over there rest all you know some species baobab trees you can look at the picture baobab trees looks beautiful looks cylindrical you can see it's cylindrical shape Dekhke lag raha hai ki it is not native to India. Of course, it is not native to India. Why it was in the news? Because recently, Bheel tribe of the central India, it is opposing the forest department against the cutting down of baobab trees. Okay. Decision to give permission for the uprooting of baobab trees for commercial use. Bheel tribe is against it. Moreover, Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh government has applied for geographical indication tag. GI tag for the baobab trees. Students, it has been brought to India. It is not native to India. You need to understand. Okay. Basically, it is long-lived deciduous, small to large tree from 20 to 100 feet tall with broad trunks and compact tops. You can see the top is not, the canopy is not so dense. It is very much compact, broader trunk. Okay. It is also called as tree of life. UPSC will give you these kind of terms. Which of the following are known as the trees of life as they can store large amount of fresh water in their extraordinary trunks lot of fresh water is stored in their trunks produce nutritious fruits even during the driest years because they already store lot of water therefore they can produce fruits even during the driest years they are native to basically this is important for us they are native to africa madagascar and australia Africa, Madagascar and Australia. Even, you know, West Asia, you can understand. The tree's unique pendulous flowers are pollinated by bats and bush babies. Bush babies and bats help in the pollination of the trees. IUCN status is endangered. IUCN status is endangered. Basically, in India, they have been brought by Arab traders. It is not just located only in the Madhya Pradesh, but on the Prayagraj also you will find some trees are there okay various parts of india you will find even in maharashtra you will find these trees baobab trees okay facts that you should be remembering madhya pradesh for the gi tag bheel tribe for the production and it is not native to india it is native to africa madagascar and australia hijol see students basically upsc is interested in these days for asking questions from medicinal plants the plants which exhibit medicinal properties hijol also known as hijal Hijangal, Hendol, different names are there. Any one of them could be asked. Okay. Basically, we'll look at the properties first of all. Medicinal properties. Its bark has a tannin which is useful for heart diseases. Hijoles. Powder of the seeds work as an expectorant. Expectorant means cuff expectorant and is applied to cure cuff for the children. 
टॉनिक इज प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम द लीव एंड रूट फ्रॉम द लीव एंड रूट टॉनिक आर बींग प्रिपेयर फिश पॉइजन इज ऑल्सो प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम इट्स रूट सो इट इज क्वाइट यूजफुल मेडिसिनल प्लांट इट्स नेटिव टू कोस्टल वेटलैंड इन सदर्न एशिया एंड नदर्न ऑस्ट्रेलिया द स्पीसीज ग्रोज ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ फ्रेश वॉटर रिवर गैंजेस रिवर बेसिन यू कैन फाइंड फ्रेश वॉटर स्वैम्स लगूंस एंड ऑन द सीजनली फ्लडेड लो लैंड प्लेन्स गैंजेस ब्रह्मपुत्रा मेघना बेसिन ऑल्सो इट इज बींग फाउंड हिजोल हिजोल यू कैन रिमेंबर just understand it as a species having medicinal properties and fresh water even near the lagoons it is found seasonally flooded low plains also it is found over there india's first national water body census it has been recently done first of all whenever we see such kind of census we should look for one question that is kaun si organization ne karwaya hai ye ministry of tell me in the comment box which ministry मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जल शक्ति देखो अभी बहुत ज्यादा हमने कुछ ड्रोन सर्वे दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स वी हैव नॉट डन इन टू इट बेसिकली सैटेलाइट ड्रिवेंट डेटा सेट्स वी हैव टेकन सैटेलाइट ड्रिवेंट डेटा सेट्स एंड द इंफॉर्मेशन विच वॉज अवेलेबल इन द पब्लिक डोमेन प्रीवियसली हमने वही एनालिसिस की है एंड आफ्टर दैट एनालिसिस असेंसिस हैज बीन ड्रॉन सर्टन फैक्ट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट हैज टॉक्ड अबाउट just understand it has also talked about encroachment into the water bodies now people are just putting sand and creating concretes over there building some commercial uh, uh, projects or building some houses over there so this is called as encroachment to the water bodies now it is taking an extensive survey of the repository of the distribution of water bodies along with emphasizing upon the disparity kitni disparity hai from the rural and urban areas what data said you understand in the rural areas more than 97% of these water bodies are there and in urban area 2.9% approximately the bodies are there 2.9% only you can see the disparity between rural and urban division moreover the classification has been done just like the census groups water bodies into these five categories ponds tanks lakes reservoirs water conservation schemes dekho pehle to ye dekhte hain ek simple fact that can come in the examination is which state had the maximum number of water bodies it is west bengal you can see here west bengal had maximum number of water bodies ओके मोर देन सेवन लैख वाटर बॉडीज सेवन लैख फोर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड प्लस वाटर बॉडीज ओके विथ स्टेट हैड द लीस्ट नंबर ऑफ वाटर बॉडीज इट इज सिक्किम सिक्किम हैड द लीस्ट नंबर ऑफ वाटर बॉडीज ओनली वन हंड्रेड थर्टी फोर वाटर बॉडीज ठीक है हाइएस्ट लीस्ट नाउ अलॉन्ग विद द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इफ यूल फाइंड दैट द सेंसस ग्रुप्स वाटर बॉडीज इन टू फाइव टाइप सबसे ज्यादा पॉन्ड्स कहां मिले विथ स्टेट हैड द मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ पॉन्ड्स ये है वेस्ट बेंगाल सबसे ज्यादा टैंक्स इट इज आंध्र प्रदेश मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ टैंक्स हैव बीन फाउंड इन आंध्र प्रदेश मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ लेक्स हैव बीन फाउंड इन तमिलनाडु मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ पॉन्ड्स इन वेस्ट बंगाल टैंक्स इन आंध्र प्रदेश लेक्स इन तमिलनाडु मैच द कॉलम कुड बी देयर ऑल इट वुड बी अ टफ क्वेश्चन अगर ये एग्जाम में आ जाता है तो नो वॉटर कंजर्वेशन स्कीम सबसे ज्यादा कौन से स्टेट में स्टूडेंट्स काउंटर इंटिवली यू मे थिंक कि राजस्थान में होगी ओके बट इट इज इन महाराष्ट्र इट इज इन महाराष्ट्र महाराष्ट्र ओके इन द स्टेट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र विल फाइंड वॉटर कंजर्वेशन स्कीम्स मैक्सिमम सो दिस हैज बीन द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन राइट नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ओजोन डिप्लीटिंग गैस इंडेक्स ओके ओजोन डिप्लीटिंग गैस इंडेक्स दिस इज बाय द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एन ओ ओ ए नेशनल ओशनिक एंड एटमोस्फेरिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन नेशनल ओशनिक एंड एटमोस्फेरिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एन ओ ओ ए एन ओ ए ए दिस इज कमिंग अप विथ ओजोन डिप्लीटिंग गैस इंडेक्स आई होप इन द स्टैटिक पोर्शन यू वुड हैव डेफिनेटली रेड अबाउट वियना कन्वेंशन वियना कन्वेंशन नाइनटीन एटी फाइव then you would have talked about the montreal protocol 1987 as well as kigali agreement kigali agreement in 2016 it was adopted and later on it 
इट गॉट एनफोर्स इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन किगाली एग्रीमेंट दिस इज ऑल अबाउट ओडीएस ओजोन डिप्लीटिंग सब्सटेंसेज एंड हेयर वी आर नॉट टॉप टॉकिंग अबाउट द ग्राउंड लेवल ओजोन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्ट्रेटोस्फेरिक ओजोन इन द स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर द ओजोन वॉट वॉट इट इज देयर इट बेसिकली प्रोटेक्ट अस अगेंस्ट द हार्मफुल यू वी रेडिएशन उसके अगेंस्ट प्रोटेक्ट करता है देखो किगाली एग्रीमेंट में फर्स्ट टाइम अ मेजर चेंज वॉज देयर अब तक वी वर जस्ट फेजिंग आउट ओडीएस ओजोन डिप्लीटिंग सब्सटेंसेज दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ओडीएस बेसिकली देखो क्लोरिनेटेड एंड ब्रोमिनेटेड कंपाउंड्स हेलॉन्स दे फॉर्म द कंपोजिशन ऑफ ओडीएस ओजोन डिप्लीटिंग सब्सटेंसेज यू कैन सी द एग्जाम्पल हेयर क्लोरोफ्लोरो कार्बन हेलॉन्स कार्बन टेट्राक्लोराइड मिथाइल क्लोरोफॉर्म ओके यू कैन फाइंड इट एज सी एफ सीज सी एफ सीज एच सी एफ सीज बट स्टूडेंट्स एच एफ सी इफ आई टॉक अबाउट एच एफ सी एच एफ सी इज नॉट एन ओडीएस बट इट हैज हाई ग्लोबल वार्मिंग पोटेंशियल इट इज नॉट एन ओडीएस बट इट हैज हाई ग्लोबल वार्मिंग पोटेंशियल ऐसे भी सब्सटेंसेज अब हम इलिमिनेट कर रहे हैं अंडर द किगाली एग्रीमेंट विच इज लीडिंग टू द क्विटो एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ वन डिग्री क्विटो एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ वन डिग्री आई होप यू हैव रेड दीज थिंग्स इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके नाउ ओजोन डिप्लीटिंग गैस इंडेक्स में एक चीज देखते हैं कि वट डज दिस इंडेक्स एक्चुअली मेजर्स into the stratosphere basically into the stratosphere what we are doing just look at the definition this index is defined by the observed decline in the halogen for example here just assume this is the stratospheric cloud here into this cloud if more chlorine is there if more chlorine or chlorine equivalent gases are there therefore it will have more chances to react with ozone So, जितना कम क्लोरीन कर सकते हैं उतना कम क्लोरीन होना चाहिए वहां पे मोर क्लोरीन मीन्स मोर चांसेस ऑफ ओडीएस रिएक्टिंग विथ ओजोन गैस क्रिएटिंग ओजोन होल सो इट इज डिफाइंड बाय द ऑब्जर्व डिक्लाइन इन द हेलोजन डिक्लाइन इन द हेलोजन एबंडेंस फ्रॉम इट्स पीक इन अंटार्क्टिका विच इज कंसिडर्ड एज हंड्रेड ओके फ्रॉम इट्स पीक इन अंटार्क्टिका रिलेटिव टू द ड्रॉप नीडेड कितना ड्रॉप चाहिए हमको For the EESC to reach its value in 1980, कितना ड्रॉप हमको क्लोरीन में करना पड़ेगा ओके बेसिकली ई ई एस सी इज ई ई एस सी बेसिकली इफेक्टिव इक्विवेलेंट इफेक्टिव स्ट्रेटोस्फेरिक क्लोरीन उसको मोटा मोटा यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड एज क्लोरीन ओनली ओके इक्विवेलेंट क्लोरीन एंड क्लोरीन इक्विवेलेंट सब्सटेंसेस विच आर ओडीएस हाउ मच वी नीड टू रिड्यूस दिस सब्सटेंस सो दैट कि हमारी वैल्यू 1980 के आसपास आ जाए गेटिंग दिस पॉइंट 1980 के वैल्यू आसपास आ जाए दिस इज डिफाइंड एज ओजोन डिप्लीटिंग गैस इंडेक्स इट इज बीइंग रिलीज्ड बाय एन ओ ए ए ओके आर्टिक एम्प्लीफिकेशन आर्टिक एम्प्लीफिकेशन वर्ल्ड मेट्रोलॉजिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज टॉक्ड अबाउट इट again you can understand it as polar amplification polar amplification now we know that global warming is happening global warming is happening global warming ho rahi hai global warming ho rahi hai to you need to understand one concept students you all know that you all know that let's talk about it here basically what happens that at the equator and at the tropics we find that most of the insulation that we re uh, receive from the sun is absorbed and stored in the form of heat in the oceans therefore sea surface temperature is rising sea surface temperature increase kar raha hai formation of zombie ice is happening at the tropics we know that jab ye sea surface temperature rise kar raha hai to jo hum insulation le rahe hain sun se from there also we are reflecting back because of certain albedo albedo effect of the ice now just understand sea surface temperature is rising because of the rise in the sea surface temperature the polar ice is melting at faster rapid rate therefore albedo effect is reducing albedo effect is reducing iska matlab hai ki sea surface temperature aur tez rise hoga with greater speed the polar ice will melt therefore albedo effect will be reduced more तो एक्सपोनेंशियली जो तेज हो रहा है इसलिए वी वी आर कॉलिंग इट एम्पलीफिकेशन इट इज नॉट गोइंग ग्रेजुअली बट इट इज एम्पलीफाइड द पोलर आइस मेल्टिंग और आर्कटिक आइस मेल्टिंग इज बीइंग एम्पलीफाइड गेटिंग दिस पॉइंट पोलर एम्पलीफिकेशन इज मच स्ट्रॉगर इन द आर्कटिक रीजन देन इन अंटार्क्टिका वाई 
this difference is because the arctic is an ocean covered by the ice arctic is the ocean covered by the ice whereas antarctica is a continent in itself okay which has land and that is covered with ice and water therefore it is happening more in the arctic region cyclone mocha mocha coffee you all would be enjoying definitely basically it's it is important you all you all know that bay of bengal here you can see this is the map of india here it is arriving okay cyclone mocha now students who has given its name just match the column cyclone Ma mocha in arabian sea or in bay of bengal its name was given by suggested by yemen and was named after the red sea port city which is also known to have introduced coffee to the world so coffee was introduced okay so it was a tropical cyclone formed over the southern bay of bengal just for the match the column it is important because it happened recently okay guys so thank you let's meet in another lecture keep revising